Hello golfers, today's post is about athleticism in golf, which begs the question, should the golfer be an athlete or the swing movement be an athletic one? One dictionary definition for an athlete is a person who is trained or skilled in exercises, sports or games requiring physical strength, agility or stamina. And athleticism involves possessing those qualities. So, are golfers athletes? Many people will not believe so because there is a certain amount of stereotyping involved in the definition. An older person with a rounded or kyphotic spine would be deemed unathletic, as would someone with a pot belly, perhaps. Is the very talented golfer John Daly athletic? Would you consider a sumo wrestler to not be an athlete? Despite their appearance, they have to be extremely strong and flexible to perform the required task. Perhaps then, it should be more about the movement a golfer makes rather than what a golfer looks like. What do you look for when considering a golfer's movement to be athletic? Is it a swing that moves every possible body part to maximize momentum like that of Kyle Berkshire or Bryson DeChambeau? Should it be graceful and elegant looking like Adam Scott's or violent looking like Tiger Woods? Let's see what the scientists have to say on the subject. An expert panel of sports scientists from the US Olympic Committee and academicians was put together by ESPN.com in 2004 and they decided upon 10 qualities to define athleticism. They judged 60 different sports on those 10 qualities. The qualities were endurance, strength, power, speed, agility, flexibility, nerve, durability, hand-eye coordination, and analytic aptitude. But some of them are possessed by almost every person playing golf, even those who are relative beginners. For instance, endurance while lasting 18 holes, and durability over many decades of playing golf, nerve to win five bucks from your weekend opponent, hand-eye coordination to sink long putts, and the analytic aptitude of where to aim under different situations and when to attempt a birdie versus making a safe two-putt. One scientist, Dr. Edward Fleischmann, devised tests for various aspects of athleticism or more specifically of physical fitness for Navy personnel. His test assessed different aspects of flexibility, strength, coordination and endurance. There are similar tests in golf and they assess a golfer for similar fundamental movement capabilities. However, do those fundamental movement patterns directly convert to golf performance? In my opinion, the athleticism of a golf swing should be judged based on the desired outcomes, which are ball distance, ball direction and ball trajectory, all three simultaneously. Excessive movement or a violent movement do not on their own constitute athleticism, nor does elegance without any oomph. And athleticism should better describe the movement itself rather than movement capabilities, because after all, what good are capabilities when not put into practice in a movement? A golf swing which has less superfluous movement in order to enhance centeredness of contact and guarantee an inside path is every bit as athletic as one with the excessive movement of a Berkshire or the sheer violence of a Woods or an elegant one like Scott's. Beauty is, after all, in the eye of the beholder and the movements that produce consistent and desirable outcomes should be deemed athletic. While both people and swings may look very different, what matters most is their ability to produce the desired results on a consistent basis.